Hi, and welcome to Two Tired Teachers. This is going to be reskinning the door, part two. Don't go look for a part one because I'm going to spare you that. Obviously, it didn't work, or we wouldn't have the part two. I will give you a little bit of fast forward of it. But what the part one was was just uh, like paintable wallpaper. I like the fact that it was textured, and I got it done. But it never would really adhere to the door, and that was a concern I had. So now I've gone back and I've really washed the door good to get any glue, residual glue off. But let me show you once again, let me show you why I'm doing that. And that is because we've got a number of stress cracks on this side of the door. And we're starting to get a few on this side, especially here at the window. Now, if I had a shop and all of the tools that I needed, <clears throat> the proper way to do this is take the door off. Uh, get like a real thin piece of laminate, uh, take the window out, and tool around all of that, use high pressure glue with braces and all this other stuff, and literally just put another skin on there on top of the one that's there, and that would be wonderful, but I don't have all of that stuff. So, what I'm going with now, and let me show you what I have. Okay, I got this at Hobby Lobby. It is a vinyl, a permanent vinyl wallpaper, and it was eight bucks, but it's on half price right now, so I got enough to get this done, I hope. And you'll notice I didn't go with white again. I went with, it's called a gray, I think, but if you look at the, uh, I don't know how well that's gonna show up, but this is the right inside the door. This is what it's up against, and there's definitely some gray flakes in here, kind of a tannish gray, which is what this is, so color-wise, I think we're going to be good. One advantage to using the wallpaper that I did first time is, and I don't know if you'll be able to see this very well, white on white, but I now have, move some batteries here, a template of the bottom and the top of the door. So that should really help me out as I cut this. Okay, I have now kind of prep this. I taped around the window with the painter's tape and the reason I did that is because this paper says it's permanent and so I figured that way if it sticks to the tape I can then just peel the tape off. So hopefully that will work. Um, I did, like I said, I washed this down really well. I had uh, that wallpaper on there and so it had some glue residue and it's wiped it down real well and it's dried. So, we'll see how this does. Okay, with the backing still on the vinyl, I simply laid it out and taped it to the door so that I would be able to easily cut out the window section. And um, just used a razor blade to cut around the bottom part of the window and I did this process for both sides. Once I finished the left side I then took the backing off and stuck it on the door and then taped the other side on uh, and with the backing on and then cut around it. For the top of the door I did cut that strip of vinyl in half laid it out on my dining room table and used that template for the top to give me an estimate around the top of the door. Now, I will tell you, be careful as you're doing this because one side of our door was like four inches and the other side was four and a half. Uh, but I used that to sketch out uh, what I was going to be cutting. And I allowed extra so that I was able at in the end to go back and simply uh, then trim it kind of into place, but that got a, a lot of it out of the way for me. And um, then I was ready to stick it on the door. Okay, so what I ended up doing was um, this, like I said, is, is vinyl paper from Hobby Lobby. And because I had used the uh, just wallpaper before, 
when I peeled it off I capped it and I had that as a template to use to kind of cut around the door in the I mean the window frame and around the top of the door and so so far I'm really liking this I'm liking the fact that this is actually kind of I think they called it a gray it's kind of a tannish color and it uh, it does show the uh, the texture underneath and this is how much was uh, I don't know if you can see right there that's where they overlapped and um, I think this is actually going to stick and so the total cost for materials um, I bought three of those things for four bucks a piece so 12 plus some tax I bought a couple of other things while I was there but so less than $15 to get the uh, material to put on there the vinyl should be waterproof which was my big deal about uh, this side over here uh, you know a lot of times we like to have the window open I mean the door open if it's just kind of misting and it's not a heavy rain and so wanted something that was going to be waterproof and also waterproof for when we're having to come in and out uh, when it's raining I mean dog needs to go outside stuff like that so um, I'm thinking I'm really gonna like this and if you have a problem with your door uh, this might be a solution that you uh, want to look into using paper or something where you can cut a template for those curves and stuff still didn't come out exactly perfect but it came out a whole lot closer and uh, I'm pleased thanks for watching two tired teachers